Arsenal news today, ladies and gentlemen. We got you guys a massive update. Today, we're going to be talking about the likes of Amadou Onana from Everton, potentially joining Arsenal for around £50 million. Kimmich has become one of the front runners for Arsenal this summer transfer window, as Bayern Munich have made it clear that he will be leaving the club and he's on the short uh, Arsenal are on the short list of teams that he'd be willing to join. Also we have uh, updates on Eddie Nketia, Nico Williams, Eze and addition to another midfielder from Real Sociedad, but this time it is not it is not Zubamendi. We're talking about another Mikel joining the club. Mikel Merrill we're going to have to find out more about all these players. But before we go any further, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys need to know the latest updates. And I'm here to give you guys that update. Let's go. people what's going on so before we go any further please do hit that like button on the video it helps out massively and uh today let's try to get at least 100 likes on today's video but yeah first things first arsenal uh have signed have gotten a new deal agreed with carl hein carl hein has signed a new agreement this is coming off the back of a season where he barely got an opportunity to play in the first team. but he So he's most likely going to sign this deal and potentially go out on loan. But at this moment in time, Carl Hein has officially confirmed the new signing of a new deal at Arsenal Football Club. Now, next, we have a situation where Nico Williams is being, uh, is being touted as one of the players that Arsenal are interested in. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta could uh, risk to upset some of his senior players by making a move for Nico Williams because the 21-year-old is demanding high wages. The 21-year-old is demanding 300k a week. Uh, for uh, wherever he goes to play next. So this could be an obstacle that stops us from getting the likes of Nico Williams over the line. I don't think we're going to sign Nico Williams if his demands for his wages are to make him the highest paid player at the club or second highest paid player at the club. As you guys currently know, Kai Havers is the highest paid player at the club. And this could definitely cause some issues with the likes of Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, who've been there way before and are getting close to 280, 250, if I'm not mistaken. Next, um, you got uh, Bayern Munich are looking to sign Bernardo Silva, uh, who has a 50 million pound uh, buyout clause at Manchester City. And this could open up the doors for Arsenal to sign Kimmich. We also have a situation where Arsenal are now apparently interested in this gentleman here. Uh, Mike, um, how do you pronounce his name? Let me see. Marino. Mike Marino for Arsenal, no matter what. Uh, Arteta wants to sign Mike Marino for Arsenal, no matter what. The manager has called for the Real Sociedad star to be converted into his plans. The player is, has been seduced by the possibility of moving to the Emirates. Mourinho in 2017-18, yeah, at Newcastle was a midfielder and has an opportunity to join Arsenal where he is absolutely confident of Mikel Arteta. Uh, the player would be sold for around 25 million and this is affordable for Arsenal. First things first, this is the first time I'm hearing about this gentleman um, being linked to Arsenal. I don't believe this is a legitimate um, link. I think at this moment in time, the sports witness, we have to take it with a grain of salt. They are coming out with things that are not being cooperated by anybody else in the news cycle. So we will see if there's any truth behind these rumors. But at this moment in time, we take it with a grain of salt. Do you, anybody in the chat, please let me know if you know anything about this gentleman. All I know is that he's 28 years old. He's a midfielder who uh, formerly has been linked to Barcelona and all these other clubs. And he is somebody who has a lot of experience. If he did join our team, he'd be on the older side and he could play as a as a central midfielder and he can play as an attacking midfielder so he can so he can so he can play as an eight or a six but let's wait and see what actually happens i genuinely don't think we're going to sign this guy also he can play he's played as defensive midfielder my apologies not attacking so he's played as a defensive midfielder and as a central midfielder uh, for majority of his career not attacking my apologies but yeah it's it's not the most ambitious signing at all it's very underwhelming in my opinion but let's wait and see if that's actually some truth to it now liverpool manchester city arsenal are the five clubs that are still in consideration for josh kimmich's future after he leaves bayern munich 
I personally originally said, you know what, I don't know if Arsenal would go for uh, Josh Kimmich because he might ask for ridiculous wages or he might disrupt the dressing room. But if you can get Joshua Kimmich in for a very relatively cheap price and his wages are not ridiculous demands, I think this would improve us massively. And I think um, the, the situation at Arsenal right now, if we were to add Josh Kimmich, we'd be adding another world-class player or a player who's reached world-class levels before and has won things, has major experience winning major honours like Champions League, league titles. And of course, even, was he there for the World Cup? I forget, but definitely one of the top players that Arsenal could potentially go for this transfer window. Let me know, would you take Joshua Kimmich at Arsenal? Because I've kind of softened my tune. I definitely would take him now. When I was earlier, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I was saying we wouldn't take Joshua Kimmich. Now that I see what the market out there has to offer, I think Joshua Kimmich would be a better option than some of these other players. But I still would take Amadou Onana as a player. I'm not saying I would take Amadou Onana over Joshua Kimmich, but I'm, I'm saying if the options were... Kimmich or nobody or Onana or nobody else, I would rather take those two than some of the other options I see there in the midfield options. They're not that good. Bruno, but we're going to we're gonna get on to Bruno in a second. Before we get on to Bruno, um, we got somebody here, Alan Smith, talking about how uh, Aaron Ramsdale does not want to sit on the bench. And he's also speaking about uh, he's, he's good enough to start elsewhere. And he's also talking about A. Nketiah. He's not getting 20 uh, uh, minutes quite regularly a season so of course uh he's going to want him to move on also and Reese Nelson very similar situation all three of these players are going to potentially be leaving out the uh, out the door this upcoming summer so we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that but yeah these are the five clubs that Joshua Kimmich are, are after Joshua Kimmich Real Madrid uh Liverpool Arsenal Barcelona and Man City if I was to guess I think if I'm not mistaken Barcelona would be the first team that he might be interested in joining as uh, his his country, his fellow countryman uh, Gundogan plays there, and of course, Man City or uh, Real Madrid are always interested. Arsenal would probably be fourth in the pecking order for the clubs that could get Joshua Kimmich at this moment in time. That is what I'm thinking on that with the whole Joshua Kimmich situation. Arsenal can sign one player from Crystal Palace. We have been linked to all four of these players in the past. Um, uh, Wartens, not so much. But Gwe, he would cost 50 million, 60 million for Eze. And uh, Olise is already headed to uh, to Bayern Munich. So I'm not too interested in that at this moment in time. But yeah, everyone's talking about Mike Muriel. Uh, Liverpool are also after Nico Williams. So we're going to have to see what happens with that situation as that is escalating. Yeah, everyone's just talking about Joshua Kimmich, Joshua Kimmich, Bernardo Silva, how that links in. Um, now, Victor Yokarez. Victor Yokarez's agent has said that his client's future is aimed, uh, aimed to go to Arsenal. Victor Yokarez, we are still waiting to see what happens with it. Apparently, bids and everything behind the scenes are, are in the works. So we're going to have to see if that gets escalated any quicker. But at this moment in time, that does seem like it is escalating quite quickly. And we're just going to have to wait and see if there's more news on that. Now, the release clause for Bruno G has expired. And one second, such levels of Arsenal fans in the comments now thinking that Bruno Gamara is less than the release clause reality. Yeah, I get that. Uh, with Bruno Gamara's release clause now expiring on the 24th of June, that means most likely he will not be leaving. Um, he will not be leaving uh, Newcastle for the 100 million. If our, anyone wants to buy him, they're now going to have to most likely pay more than the 100 million pound release clause that was originally put into place. Um, I don't think we're going to sell Gabriel Magalhães, but if we did, we should get a decent amount of money in return for him. Let's see if there's any more news, any more news in the in the in the market. Everything is about Kimmich. Everything is about uh, thing. Nico Williams to Liverpool. Nico Williams to Chelsea. Um, oh, this this is annoying. Could Arsenal take a risk and sign this gentleman for uh, this gentleman that Chelsea were previously linked to? I think this is agent links. This don't make sense. 28-year-old striker who currently plays for Stuttgart. Um, he has had a really good season over there in the Bundesliga where he scored 28 goals. Um, I don't think we need a stopgap at this moment in time. Stopgap striker who's going to be a backup. 28 years old. I don't think this guy has the potential to go push on and become one of the best in the, in the league or anything like that. Very underwhelming signing. 
the the French the 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 the, the New Guinea uh New Guinea uh st striker would be would be somebody who would would join for what. How much were they talking originally when he was linked to Chelsea? They were talking what twenty five, something something cheap like that. Would you would you take a risk on on this youngster? Uh, uh, this he's not a youngster. Would you take a risk on this striker? I don't think Arsenal should. I really don't think Arsenal should go in for him. It, it wouldn't make sense for me. Uh, for me, and if we did go in for him, it would cost us. It would cost us fifteen seventeen. It would save Arsenal on the transfer fee, but. Would he be the solution for our problems? I don't think he'd be a solution. I think it'd be a massive risk at the fact that, yes, he's only had one really, really good season. Could it be a purple patch season? And he doesn't ever hit those heights again. He was on red hot form last season in the Bundesliga, but it doesn't mean he's ever going to replicate those numbers. But apparently Arsenal have been given the green light and reports saying that if we did come in for him, we would be able to attract him right away. There's also other clubs like Bushir Dortmund and AC Milan interested in him. But I just don't see us going in for him and getting that signing. It doesn't. It, it seems like this seems like more like an agent link, agent stories, and nothing to do with the actual tr uh, relative truth behind behind this rumor, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll wait and see what actually happens with that, as they constantly keep linking us to these players and keep telling us uh, BS. I just don't know what to believe anymore when it comes to these stories. It, they seem to be all over the place, all over the place on a regular basis, and that's just. That's just the, the absolute truth about what's going on with that. Now, um, yeah, so as I already said, 14.8 14, 14 million might be a good option, but you get what you get what you pay for. If you if you get what I if you get what I mean, you get what you pay for at this moment in time. Yeah, let me stop there. Let me just go to the final part of this article, uh, the final part of the news for today. Fafana, Fafana, you got a gambling website saying Emmanuel Petit, Arsenal should sign for Fana. That's not really links. Um, Sesco, nothing, nothing new on Sesco. Yeah, so everything just, everything today is going around Joshua Kimmich. And of course, everything's floating around with Joshua Kimmich. Everyone's just talking about Joshua Kimmich, Joshua Kimmich to Arsenal. That seems to be in the main conversation of the day. Let me know what you guys think about Joshua Kimmich to Arsenal. While Joshua Kimmich is relevant, uh, we also still have the Victor uh, Jokerez, uh stuff floating about Ar Arsenal. Uh, he does have an £86 million release clause in his contract, so Arsenal would have to trigger that to get that deal over the line. And um, to talk about uh, Arsenal are right to avoid uh, Ozyman and Onana, because at this moment in time, it does seem like Ozyman is being something that Arsenal are not looking at seriously. They're not looking at they're not looking at getting him. They're looking at avoiding that player, and it just seems like Amadou Anana uh, leaning towards avoiding Amadou Anana and Victor Ozyman. Amadou Anana only because maybe they don't value him at the fifty million that Everton value him at, and and Victor Ozyman because one hundred and thirty million euros is a lot of money to be giving any player in the world football. So yeah, my question to you guys is: Would you guys take Joshua Kimmich at Arsenal? Let me know. Would you sign the uh, the the Stuttgart striker, the 28 year old striker, for 14 million pounds, and and instead of going in heavy on striker this summer? And who do you think our winger options or midfield options are going to be come the end of the summer if we don't get a Joshua Kimmich and if we don't get uh, a Nico Williams? Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, Bruno Gamarsh, that's out of uh, that's out of the question. It's not happening anymore. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this informative video. And if you did, please do leave a comment down below. I'm out of here, people. Peace.